The universe has always been a source of endless wonder and curiosity. Despite humanity's best efforts, we are far from understanding the vast complexity of existence. Even with all our advancements, we cannot definitively answer what came before the Big Bang, and our universe continues to expand at an unimaginable scale. Among the great scientific mysteries, one question stands out, why did the Big Bang occur? Although we cannot observe the Big Bang directly, technological advancements like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope JWST, have brought us closer to understanding the origins of the universe. This telescope, equipped with cutting-edge technology, has captured images that bring us closer to the first moments of cosmic existence. But what makes this device so powerful? How will it reshape the future of astronomy? Let us delve into the significance of the Big Bang, the JWST, and what this remarkable telescope may unveil about the universe's origins. The Big Bang, the event that changed everything. The Big Bang theory remains the most widely accepted explanation for how the universe came into existence. It posits that the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and unimaginable heat. From this minuscule point, an extraordinary expansion occurred, marked by incredible speeds in the first fractions of a second. Over the course of 13.7 billion years, this expansion slowed, giving rise to the universe as we know it today, which continues to grow. While scientists cannot directly observe the Big Bang due to current technological limitations, much of what we understand comes from precise mathematical models and equations. Yet, the James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our approach, giving astronomers an unprecedented ability to explore the cosmic past. Before the JWST, scientists relied on evidence like the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang that permeates the universe. First theorized by Ralph Alpher and colleagues in 1948 and accidentally discovered in the 1960s, the CMB provides a snapshot of the universe approximately 380,000 years after its birth. The Era of Cosmic Inflation and Reheating The universe's journey began in a hot, dense state known as a singularity. Then came the brief but transformative phase known as cosmic inflation, first proposed by physicist Alan Goose in 1980. During this period, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light in just a fraction of a second, around seconds. This rapid expansion set the stage for everything that followed. As cosmic inflation ended, the universe entered a phase called reheating, during which matter and radiation were created. This process gave rise to the fundamental building blocks of matter, particles like neutrons, protons, and electrons. In the universe's earliest moments, temperatures soared to an astounding 10 billion degrees Fahrenheit, and the cosmos was a chaotic, opaque soup of particles. It wasn't until around 380,000 years after the Big Bang that free electrons combined with nuclei to form neutral atoms. This pivotal event allowed light to travel freely, marking the emergence of the cosmic microwave background. The CMB remains one of the strongest pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. The James Webb Space Telescope, a window to the past. Launched in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to be the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. While Hubble primarily observes visible and ultraviolet light, JWST specializes in infrared light, which allows it to peer through cosmic dust and observe objects at extreme distances. Positioned at Lagrange Point 2, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the JWST's location ensures minimal interference from sunlight and Earth's heat. Its remarkable design features an enormous honeycomb-shaped mirror spanning 6.5 meters, which collects light with unparalleled efficiency, 6.25 times better than Hubble's main mirror. The telescope's advanced instruments and large sun shield, 22 meters by 12 meters, make it uniquely capable of detecting faint infrared signals from the early universe. This allows it to study galaxies, stars, and other cosmic phenomena from approximately 100 to 250 million years after the Big Bang, a period when the first stars and galaxies began to form. A new era of discovery. In its first images, released in July 2022, the JWST showcased the Carina Nebula, the Southern Ring Nebula, and Stefan's Quintet. Days later, it identified Jade's GS Z13-0, a galaxy that existed 300 million years after the Big Bang, making it the oldest galaxy ever observed. Unlike Hubble, which was limited in its ability to study the early universe, JWST has revealed numerous ancient galaxies that challenge existing theories. For example, galaxies discovered by JWST, 
such as glass Z12, appear to have formed just 180 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are unexpectedly massive, with some containing as much mass as our Milky Way. These findings contradict current models, which suggest that the universe's early years were too turbulent for such large structures to form. Astronomers like Erica Nelson from the University of Colorado Boulder describe these massive galaxies as big honking red disks, adding that they defy conventional expectations of galaxy formation. What lies ahead? The James Webb Space Telescope is more than just a scientific tool. It is a gateway to understanding the origins and evolution of the cosmos. By observing the faintest and most distant objects, it challenges our understanding of the universe and forces us to reevaluate existing theories. From studying the earliest galaxies to exploring the formation of stars and planets, JWST is poised to revolutionize our knowledge of the cosmos. As its data continues to pour in, scientists are left to ponder the profound mysteries of existence. What triggered the Big Bang? Are there other universes? And how does our own universe fit into the grander scheme of reality? The JWST's journey has only just begun, and its discoveries promise to reshape our understanding of the universe for generations to come.